Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Ruskif here and welcome to the sixth video tutorial on Expression Free, where we are going to talk about callbacks, um, events and timers. So, for those who've been paying attention, and if you haven't seen the last video, I do recommend the last video before you do this one, because this one is going to draw on the last one just a tad. So, one thing uh, that you may have noticed is when I execute my code in E3, the code does not execute multiple times, it executes once. So if I do system.print, it's only going to call system.print once, okay? Once on the server, once on the client. And sometimes I might want to do more than just run one block of code one time. I might want to run one block of code multiple times uh, in response to different events. For example, uh, E2 has uh, interval, it has run on tick, it has on player chat, okay? It also has timers, it has triggers. Um, so E2 can rerun itself in response to all these different events. And E3 does it too, but differently. It does it in the way of callbacks, okay? So I have a server block here, and in the server block, I am going to start by showing you um, a basic think event, okay? Think is every time the physics engine processes or, or runs a process. So the, the physics engine in Gmod, it runs on a think, and every think, it's where it updates all of the physics data on the server. And then it waits for a millisecond, then it does the whole task again, okay? So I am going to respond to the think event, right? And the way I do that is I'm gonna use the event library. So there's an event, and then I'm gonna add, which says to the event library, I would like to add a function callback to act as a handler. And We'll, we'll see that in a second. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to tell it what we want to hook into. So I want this callback to run every time the think event is called. The next thing I need to do is give this a name, a unique name. And the reason we give it a unique name is because uh, later on you might want to use event.remove, which will then remove the event callback this stopping that particular section of, well, that particular callback from running again. So I am just going to call this my callback, okay? And then I need to give it a function. So um, as discussed in the last video, there are three ways to define a function. You can use a, a, a delegate, you can use, um, just define it as a variable, or you can define it as a function. And you can use all three right here. You can use all three. I could do my func or whatever in here, but I'm just gonna go inline and I'm just gonna type the word function, open uh, and then close parenthesis, and then open and close block. So I'm just defining a function with inside the call to event.add, okay? Because remember, when you do this, it's a variable. Check the previous video if it still doesn't make sense. And I'm just gonna here do system.print think, right? And then I'm just gonna pop that down in world. Um, let me get rid of those two. Those are probably from the last tutorial. And as you see now, every time the server thinks, the gate responds to that. That's an event. And if I wanted to, should we say, respond to uh, the player speaking in chat, say every time I said something in chat, I want it to appear down here in the Gollum console. Um, I could be working on the E3, and I can't see the chat box, okay? Maybe I want to see the chat box. So the way we do this 
is I can just say uh, on player chat with a capital C there, um, and then I just got to say player P O Y, and then string message like that. And let's make this window a little bit bigger so you can see a bit more of what's going on. Oh, excuse me, Jeeves. Um, and then all I want to do is system.out because we want to print it to our console. Okay, and then I'm literally just going to put the player. I'm going to put that sign, and then I'm going to put the message like that. Right? Hit the validate, validate it successfully. So, just to quickly recap, every time on player chat, uh, every time a player chats, I'm going to add a function which is going to say, hey, print the player and the message into my console. And let's do that now. So I'll put that down in a few seconds. All right, wait for the server to come online. And then I'm just going to say, hello, my name is Roskiff. And in console, you'll see that it's now printed that. And that's it. That's as simple as that. And one last thing I'll show you quickly is timers. Timers uh, allow you to add a second or multiple second delay uh, to a recurring event. So I can say every every second I want you to increase the value of i by one. And that's the example we're going to do now. I'm going to show you timers. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create a number. I'm going to call it i and I'm going to set it to a value of zero. Then I'm going to define a timer. So I'm going to use the timer library this time, timer.create. And I need to give the timer a unique name. So I'm just going to call this my timer. Okay. Then I need to tell the timer uh, how many times it's going to run. And I'll put zero in. And zero means that the time is going to run infinitely. So it's going to never stop. If I set that to one, the timer would only run once. If I set it to uh, two, it would run twice. But at zero, it's going to run indefinitely. Or until I call timer dot uh, remove or destroy or whatever the function is. Kind of off the top of my head. The next thing I need to do is tell it how long to wait between each timer execution. So I will give it uh, that as uh, zero 01. And then I will obviously create my function here inside the timer box. This is my callback. And I'm just going to say i e uh, plus equals 1. And then I'm going to do system.print i. OK? And you'll notice that prints 1. Because I dirt, because it's actually no, we got my uh, parameters the wrong way around. So the first one is the delay. The second one is the amount of repetitions. So, right now that that's been fixed, this will work. So here we go: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if I wanted to make that a little bit faster, I could set that second interval to 0 0.5. And now I'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to print every half a second. Yeah? That's it. That's all you really need to know. Congratulations. You've learned expression free. Take it easy. There might be another video. There might not. Bye.